A Londoner who fought in the Second World War Battle of Arnhem has returned to unveil a memorial to those who lost their lives over 70 years ago. Frank Ashley was part of the Glider Pilot Regiment who landed their wooden planes in the battlefield in the Netherlands in autumn 1944. The memorial was unveiled at one of the troops' original landing zones this morning. Caroline Davis has more. The tranquil fields of rural Holland. Over 70 years ago, this was where Operation Market Garden began. You're scared stiff, and if you don't say you're scared stiff, you're a liar. But I had a job to do, and I was going to do it to the best of my ability. Frank Ashley is now 93, but on the day he took off in his glider across the channel, he was just 19. There were 16 operations planned and cancelled, one after the other, and we were getting a bit cross. We wanted to get moving. But this one did go ahead and in good conditions. The operation was hoped to end the war before Christmas. Thousands were parachuted in or sent in gliders like Frank, dropped into Holland to capture land and bridges pushing the Germans back. They were aiming for Arnhem. Frank's battalion marched to a nearby town of Oosterbeek, where he was asked to conduct a recce. We walked down the main road in Oosterbeek, about half a mile, and it was incredibly quiet, there was nobody there. And suddenly by the St. Barnabas church, everywhere we looked were German soldiers. And so we dived into the church, we weren't going to put our hands up. While Frank and his companions made a makeshift sniper tower from a church roof, other battalions pushed on. One was able to break the German line and reach Arnhem, but they couldn't get support. The operation failed and the war raged on for more months. Frank was captured and spent the rest of the war in a prisoner of war camp. Today, Arnhem and the surrounding towns remember the anniversary of the battle with events and even reconstructed camps. And this year, local residents raised money for a monument. They asked Frank to unveil it. I spent quite a long time trying to think of something to say. But whatever I wrote, I wouldn't throw away because it was it was cold, it wasn't friendly, not what I wanted it to be, as a very welcome relief not to have to speak, just to do, keep it simple. For him, it's important to return. Will you be back again next year? Oh, most certainly, and the year after, and the year after that. As long as I'm physically able, my heart is here. I have to come back. Caroline Davis, BBC London News, Arnhem.